Banshee, Banshee, this is Apollo, radio check, over. Make everything harder getting it to have everyone move to that one side opposed to just going left right left right you know what I'm saying and then it's the same thing with getting off you're not like just gonna jump in front of someone it's gonna you're unloading left right left right and don't forget to grab a pack
So do you want to clear past this? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm Sergeant Michael Graziano. I'm the ATL for Det Hawaii 4th Reconnaissance Battalion. ATL is assistant team leader, so we're responsible for all of our Marines uh, so the TL can get his job done. We're the ones keeping track with most of the responsibility getting us ready to go out on patrols. The team leader is the one that writes the patrol order. Uh, he'll be the one briefing most of the plan. Uh, ATLs typically are sergeants and above. MTX improves my Marines' warfighting capabilities by definitely this work environment, being up in higher elevation, thinner air. Uh, no matter how fit you are, it's going to be tough. Add the mountains, it's even harder. And being able for the guys out here to teach us to repel through this terrain, uh, cross uh, rivers is like a big deal for our team. Some environmental challenges that I see my Marines facing out here is mountainous terrain, uh, steep cliffs, higher elevation. Uh, during the winter time when there's snow, uh, you definitely have to learn how to keep yourselves warm, uh, dry, and make sure that you're able to accomplish your mission successfully. Well, uh, the training that we did today is uh, the rope bridge, learning how to cross rivers, uh, streams, especially if they're dangerous to where you can't cross them properly. And then we also did some rappelling with kits, rucks, uh, our weight roughly 70 pounds or even more sometimes being in this environment, uh, going down cliff faces, um, being able to send down casualties in skeds, which is basically our spine board and stuff like that. A sked is basically a spine board that we'll take out on patrol that's easier to move with that we use when there's a casualty. So if a casualty goes down, we'll be able to get them onto the sked and transport them properly back to base or wherever we have to go. Okay, so if we get to a stream, if we are able to cross it by just walking through, then we'll just cross it that way. But if we're not able, then we'll build a rope bridge to assist Marines to get across and still be able to retrieve all of our gear when we get to the other side. Small unit leadership is important here at MTX because we're able to work with our junior Marines, teach them the ropes, show them the right way to how to maneuver through this terrain. Because if you just send guys out there that don't know what they're doing, it's uh, very dangerous up in the mountains. So usually before we go out on a patrol, we'll have our ATL assistant team leader, which is I, to check over our teams, make sure they've got the proper, proper equipment, proper gear, uh, in order to maneuver over this terrain. NCOs can ensure that their Marines are ready for the mountains by making sure they have the proper equipment, such as gloves, rope, carabiners, and uh, the proper weather equipment, depending on if it's snowy. You wanna be able to keep yourself warm, and definitely, even in the summer, at night, it can still get pretty cold out here, especially when you're going up steeper elevations, you want to stay warm. But just making sure that Marines, for one, stay safe and make sure they have the proper equipment. We'll do rehearsals before we go out on patrols, like immediate action drills. Whereas if we're taking contact from front, rear, left or right, then we'll be able to uh, teach them how to manu maneuver 
in those certain situations, especially in this terrain. Training in the mountains here at MTX, like you definitely want to come physically prepared and you definitely want to be prepared gear wise. But yeah, it's fun training out here and being in the mountains, there's a lot of wildlife. So definitely fun training out here. A struggle at times, but it's fun. My job as an NCO is the assistant team leader. So I'll keep track of all of our team's uh, equipment, mission, mission essential equipment. So like our radios, our optics, our guns, anything that's serialized, make sure we all have them throughout our movement. Where every time we stop, I'll sweep areas and uh, making timelines is a big thing. But uh, yeah, just making sure our team is responsible for themselves during the mission and their equipment. I'm uh, Corporal John Conroy. I'm an instructor here at the MWTC Stables. By trade, I'm an 0331. I don't do much of that here at the barn. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, working here, it's almost like a farm. We're repairing panels and taking care of the livestock. Here at the stables, we teach Marines how to pack mules. And we do that because if you look around you, you there's a lot of places you can't get a vehicle. And logistics are one of the most important aspects of the battlefield. If you can't eat, you can't fight. If you don't have bullets, you can't fight. So we just teach Marines how to use a very reliable platform to move logistics. We are training CLB 451 and 6th ESB, both reserve units. I think it does because if the Marine is invested in the animal that they're working with, especially if the animal's carrying their pack and they're not, uh, they absolutely become invested with it and really get into the training. There's a little saying that the mule is the original 4x4 vehicle. They require a lot less rest and food than horses do, so in that aspect they're a lot more reliable. Um, and they can, a good mule will go up anything out here. You won't have to push them too hard, they'll follow you to hell and back. Marines training here the livestock. I do believe there's a connection between the Marines training and the livestock because out in the civilian world there's centers that use horses as therapy animals and there's some scientific connection between them. I don't know what it is, but absolutely, you know, I think everyone gets invested in the animal they're working with. So some difficulties are that 99% of Marines have never worked with horses or mules, so there's a lot they kind of have to learn. And if they do have experience with mules or horses, there's a lot they have to relearn because we do things a certain way here for safety. Um, so, some common things are not getting too far behind the animal where they can really reach out and kick them, you know, walking close behind them, um, picking their feet up to clean them, that's always a problem because some mules don't like it, and they're very powerful animals, so some Marines have difficulties holding their foot up. And again, or not again, but um, some people don't really grasp tying knots, and that is a good majority of what we do here. So that can absolutely be a difficulty. In a combat scenario, they'll carry food, ammunition, batteries, radios, really whatever anyone on the front line needs. And in a worst case scenario, a mule can transport uh, bodies, which the students here will be learning that this afternoon. So I think the Marine Corps would be in a bad spot without the Mountain X because looking at our near peers and our potential future battlegrounds, Taiwan is essentially one giant mountain and it's very mountainous. So I think 
The capability that this base provides Marines as far as training is outstanding. One, because of the elevation. Two, because of the ruggedness of the terrain. If you're back east in the Appalachians, it's a lot gentler, I'd say, and it's not as high. Uh, but this really kicks Marines' butts because of the elevation and just how rugged the terrain is. It's important that reservists and really any unit comes out here and gets this training because there's no other like it in the DOD. We're the only installation with mules. Wait, that might not be true. Scratch that. We're the only installation with animals that aren't just for parade. Barstow has the mounted color guard. The Army has some um, parade horses but we are the only place in the DOD that packs animals. Yeah, come out, come to the course because you can pay $1,000 to do it in the civilian world or you can do it for free in the Marine Corps.